Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're doing a shaders tutorial, how to download shaders for Fabric and Forge. I'll be going over each respective one and let's get right into it. So you're going to need sodium for Fabric and rubidium or magnesium mod for Forge. Hopefully that doesn't sound very weird, but it's sodium the mod for fabric and rubidium or magnesium mod for forge those are the mods that are like similar to that of optifine where it provides some performance settings and it provides some minor enhancements to your game for fabric you also need iris shaders and for forge you need oculus shaders so for fabric you need sodium and iris shaders for forge you either need rubidium or magnesium not both one or the other rubidium or magnesium and then oculus shaders and finally you could also go with the routes of going optifine on both of these optifine for forge and optifabric plus optifine on fabric and that is my suggestion on that. Let me show you how to get shaders themselves, the actual shader pack. There are many places where you can find shaders. This is a this is one of many websites for shader packs. Shaders Mods is this this website's name, and you can find Chocopic, which is uh, one of the most popular shaders. Complementary shaders, very simplistic uh, shaders, in my opinion. Astro looks very nice, very pretty. BSL, which is very customizable and very in-depth. Cylinders, uh, trillions, or, uh, trillitons, Jelly World, Oceano, Kuda. Uh, there's just so many different shapes. <laughs> there's just a lot. And before you take a look at anything, take a look at the symbols here. They represent the compatibility for the shaders for the operating system or for in general like the the graphics of that system nvidia amd and intel are usually found within windows computers the apple logo indicates obviously mac and then the linux logo obviously indicates linux so there's that too almost everyone here should have either intel or amd if they're using a low-end system or if they're using a higher-end system they might be using nvidia or amd graphics amd graphics is usually the safest option to to really decide on but if you're using a higher-end system you're probably going to have nvidia graphics the best way to check this is to check your um systems about uh and eventually you'll find like the the general area where it says nvidia or intel or uh, amd Okay, let's go with Project Luma shaders because I haven't actually seen these shaders yet. So I want to I want to check them out. I want to check out the shaders and see how pretty it is. And so you have to scroll all the way down, and there are some requirements here that you guys have to keep in mind. And so the download links are all the way down here, where you can download the shaders right here. And it gives it gave me the uh, the you know folder. There's also the Project Luma on the Curse Forge website, which you can actually search up shaders here as well. However, it could be better for you to like search it up online and maybe go to these specific websites like Shaders Mods. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to add shaders. So I'm using Curse Forge for this, uh, but it's only just to show you what what the mods are here and for. Uh, I guess the simplicity of the process it, it, it's easier to visualize but when it says open folder here it really means the app data minecraft folder so this is what I'm looking at right if you guys know how to get to the app data folder and then go to the dot minecraft folder this should be a very simple step but for those that don't know you have to type in this bar percentage app data percentage like so and the dot minecraft folder should be right here i do have some other stuff here as well but like the dot minecraft folder is what you should be looking for so you need to run the instance once and this goes to the for the same thing this goes for 
uh, fabric as well. It doesn't create all of the folders needed for uh, the shaders, which is the actual shaders folder. And you can actually create the folder yourself, but in, in my opinion, it's better if you let Minecraft deal its thing and then create the folder. And as you can see here, I ran Minecraft, so it created all of these folders here, including the shaders pack folders. And I put in the zip folder for the Project Luma. You can unzip it, you can extract it. I don't think it matters unless it has the issue where the actual shaders folder is like a folder within the folder so you have to zip it and then open up the folder within the folder so do make sure the best way to check is to see if like if you double click on this if, if you see this that means that everything's fine you can do it um, but sometimes if you see another folder within this folder and just that folder alone then you should probably extract it I know it sounds confusing to, to some people but you'll know it when you see it I guess and so once you have that in your folder, you go to video settings and for at least the sodium way or the magnesium rubidium way, uh, the shaders pack options will be up here for forge uh, with the optifine. For the method with the optifine, it's in the settings menu and it just says shader packs as well. Uh, now you click on project Luma because that's the shaders that we are going to be using and I hit apply. So what should happen is we're going to create a world and we should see the shaders. Now I am using the oculus version of this. Okay so as you can see it actually works with the oculus shaders so that's always good to see and it looks pretty good. It's a pretty good shaders for you guys to check out and yeah in general it looks really really nice so thank you guys so much for watching remember those mods that i told you so oculus plus rubidium or uh magnesium for forge and for the iris shaders it would be iris plus sodium for fabric and optifine can be used on both fabric and forge but you need optifabric along with optifine for fabric so Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and good.